Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so happy to have you here. Today's video is a deep clean with me. Whether you're getting ready for the upcoming holidays or just doing your weekly routine, I hope you find all the motivation you're looking for right here. Towards the end of this video, I included a crock pot recipe too that's super easy and delicious, so stick around for that. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We're jumping right in. By the way, I showed a new cereal I found at the beginning of this video when I was picking up. It's Apple Pie Toast Crunch, 10 out of 10. I found it at Target, but we are big cereal people. As some of you may know, I always share new ones and loved this one. But anyways, I'm cleaning out the toaster oven before I put it away. The inside and outside, starting off with something simple to get going, but while you watch today, let me know in the comments what your plans are for Thanksgiving this year and if you are hosting. Right now I'm drying off the parts to the Nespresso and also the toaster oven, but if you are hosting or need some recipe ideas, I will link past videos I've done below. There are several recipes I've shared, so check down there if you're interested. While I'm taking care of everything in the kitchen today, I turned on my Yeedy robot vacuum. As some of you may know, a few weeks back our Dyson ended up breaking and while sweeping was fun and all, it did take a lot of time. So when Yeedy reached out to me to send me a vacuum, I was like, perfect timing. Now I will say I never understood the hype about a RoboVac, but now that I have one, I can definitely see why people are so obsessed with them. It's the type of thing that you don't know you need until you have one. Today was the perfect example while I'm doing other things around the house that I know will take up a lot of my time the vacuum is working simultaneously on all the floors and eliminating that task for me making my overall cleaning routine more efficient you don't always have time to do everything sadly and instead of picking and choosing between the floors and cleaning another room in your home this allows you to do both not only that but I don't know about you after cleaning for a full day the last thing I want to do is vacuum the floors I can turn this on and just enjoy the rest of my night. Yeedy maps out your home like a GPS for whole floor coverage without missing any spots. It maneuvers around all the furniture and chairs as you can see here. It's also powered by Visual Slam technology and features 3000 PA industry leading suction power. Another thing that I love about this vacuum is that it's specially designed for carpets. We don't have a ton of carpet in our house but we do have area rugs on both the first and second floor. So the carpet detection sensor smartly identifies when it's carpet versus wood floor and automatically increases the suction on carpet. What I love to do is turn this on and let it run while I'm getting ready in the mornings before work or even when I'm cooking, saving me so much time. This little robot vacuum has really helped us keep the floors looking cleaner. In a few minutes, I will show you how much this picks up. We were honestly shocked the first time we used it. Yeedy really is the best robot vacuum to buy under $200, so I will link this one in the description below for you to check out. Thank you, Yeedy, for sending me this vacuum. If you do have a robot vacuum of your own, let me know how you like it too, but that's running, so let's get back to work in the kitchen and begin this deep cleaning by taking all of the decor and appliances off the counters. I 
I grabbed a brand new scrub mommy. This little sponge is getting it done today. She was definitely overworked. I'll use it throughout different areas, but first I was focusing on the counters and this is one of my favorite things to do. I only clean them like this maybe three or four times a year. Not that often. I probably should be doing it more, but either way, I spray the granite with Dawn and scrub every section of the counter, including the edge, which is sometimes missed when I clean on a daily basis. I love lighter counters, but because mine has so much veining in it, it makes it hard to see if there are spills or food crumbs left out. So doing this really helps to get the counter spotless. Not only are the counters the shiniest after doing this, but the Dawn also removes all grime and dirt without damaging the countertops like some of the sprays I use probably do, but the next step is to wipe all the soap off and to do that I'm using a microfiber cloth with water alone and I'll wring it out several times while making my way across. I'm taking the same cloth with whatever leftover soap is on it and going over the white backsplash tile now. It's crazy the amount of food that splatters up on here while cooking and stuff. Sometimes you don't see it from far away, but when you get up close, it's definitely there. And I also go over the bottoms of the cabinets. Those get pretty gross too. And you'll see in just a second the grease buildup that was around the stove area. I looked up while cleaning the tile and was mortified that the cabinet was literally brown. Now it's time to tackle this disgusting microwave that had been let go long enough. Stuff had splattered all over, but the top part of it was really the worst. I removed the glass tray and I'm continuing with the Dawn and my little scrub mama over here. I don't know if I've ever used Dawn in the microwave before and I don't know why I haven't because it was hands down the fastest cleaner I've ever used in here. Normally I spend more time scrubbing but the soap is powerful enough to where you just wipe and the food or spills glide off. Absolutely recommend this if you haven't tried it before. Let me know in the comments what your go-to or favorite way to clean the microwave is. I think I clean this out the most when it comes to appliances so anything to make it easier. It won't be 
we're moving right along to the oven and I looked back to see when the last time I did this was and it was about five months ago so it was fairly decent for being used for five months since getting an air fryer we gravitate towards that the most but I still use the oven a few times a week and I try to get this done before the holiday season and I'll repeat it come spring since coming across the pink stuff cleaner I can't get enough of it for the oven door it's the best product for this appliance and our girl is at it again helping me to scrub this oven to get it as good as new I warned you I told you guys this vacuum picked up everything and now you can see just what I'm talking about this was pretty disgusting and from the first floor alone so highly recommend this gadget while I'm putting everything back on the counters I was just feeling like it was too cluttered so I'm rearranging some things on here and eliminating others just for a cleaner look and then the last thing we'll do in the kitchen is wipe down the face of the appliances the microwave and oven were done but the refrigerator and dishwasher needed to be polished so I'll grab my stainless steel wipes from the Wayman brand and get to work on those. Because I did have all the decor and appliances out on the dining table, I wanted to quickly wipe that down with a multi-surface cleaner. And then from here, we will head into the living room. For all of you that told me to buy the Dyson replacement battery off of Amazon, you are the real MVPs, thank you. I returned the battery to Dyson that costs $130 I think and bought the one that was recommended for $40, a fraction of what it would have cost. So if you have the same issue with yours, definitely look on Amazon first. I'm using the smaller rolling attachment on the vacuum now to go over the tops of the cushions between eating in here and Mason, our dog, coming in and out with all the leaves on the ground. It was necessary today. 
Right now I'm fluffing out the back cushions, getting all of them situated, and right after this I'll clean off the coffee table before moving upstairs into the bathroom. This bathroom needed a good clean today. The counters were beyond the point of just spraying down. So instead, I'll repeat what I did in the kitchen earlier. Spray them with some Dawn since it's gentle enough for this quartz counter. And then scrub with a sponge once they're cleared off. I'm making sure to really clean that back edge of the counter where the caulking is. It's always covered in dust too. Also, you may have missed it, but I was pouring out the ice from my coffee earlier. I had my first sugar cookie latte from Starbucks of this season. If you like them too, substitute almond milk for skim and then add the vanilla sweet cream cold foam to the top. It's so yummy, but let me know in the comments what your go-to drink is during the holiday season. I'm quickly finishing up with the sink, setting my robot vacuum to clean all the hair up on these floors, and then onto a recipe that we made for dinner this week.
because we are getting into the colder months I wanted to share a crock pot recipe with you guys today it's a creamy tortellini tomato soup this is my first time making it too but here is everything you'll need so pretty easy you'll start by browning some Italian sausage in a pan before combining all the ingredients in the crock pot As you can see, I'm adding in two cans of tomato soup, one can of diced tomatoes, and then one container of chicken broth. Cover and cook on low for six hours. The last two ingredients will go in towards the end after this cooks for five and a half to six hours. With just under 30 minutes left, it's now time to add the tortellini, and this is pre-cooked. I find it in the prepared food refrigerated section at the grocery store, and I bought the three cheese. And the very last step is to add two containers of this chive and onion cream cheese. And that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving. I will be back next Sunday for a new video. But if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. And I will see you back here in a few days. Good. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not